Earlier in the program, Common Ground volunteer Molly Aiden talked about what sustainability means on her family farm. Now Molly is back with a recipe that will get you in the St. Patrick's Day mood. Well, it is that time of the year when we start thinking about St. Patrick's Day, and it's fun to think about a treat that we could enjoy this time of the year. Joining me now with more is Molly Aiden. And Molly, what do you have for us? I have a shamrock shake recipe that's very simple and it's great for this time of year. Um, you're gonna start out with two cups of vanilla ice cream. I'm gonna use about three fourths cup of milk. Um, we like ours a little bit thicker. You can use more milk if you'd like. And then I'm gonna measure out a fourth a teaspoon of mint extract. And you can use food coloring to make the shake green um, just for fun. I don't have any green at my house, so I'm just gonna use equal parts of yellow and blue. So this would be a time if you want to add uh, chocolate syrup, you could put Oreos in if you want to make it extra fun. You can really do whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna decorate our cup just to make it a little more exciting. So I'm gonna actually put my uh, chocolate syrup kind of drizzled inside the cup. I will pour my shake right on top. And then my boys always enjoy a little bit of whipped cream on the top. And there you go. It's just a nice refreshing drink. Uh, that's pretty simple. And you probably have most of the stuff at home to make a fun St. Patrick's Day drink. I bet it's popular among the kids yes yes we even sometimes will put green sprinkles on it just to make it extra festive but super quick and definitely something to make if you have kids at home okay all right sounds good thank you molly for being here today thanks john